look over there. Leave me alone. No. You're the only person in here I'm not as scared of. Um. It's not really working. We'd see the lights on if it was working, wouldn't we? Well, um, I don't know. It is running, actually. But how come the little lights don't come on on your ikigami when, it, when it's running? Well, um, why don't you tell us about Bob and what he means to you? Well, I'll tell you, Kevin. I was getting messages in the back of my brain as long ago as about 12 or 13 months. And uh, I just kept hearing the word Bob, Bob, Bob. It would wake me up in the middle of the night. I'd wake up doing jumping jacks. I wouldn't know why. You know, I'd say, oh my God, the wad. I didn't know what was causing these things. I, I called up my doctor. I knew that there was one time I had been under sedation in my whole life, and it's the only time they could have implanted a device in my head. I had the back of my head shaved. I, I went to other doctors. I had them, I had them look for scars. I had my body gone over with with uh, X-ray devices and light uh, uh, metal detectors, and they could not find whatever it was that was implanted in me. So it was only by chance that I started receiving uh, mail from the Subgenius Foundation, uh, and I realized who Bob was. And who is Bob? Bob is that big, all per se pervasive figure that encompasses spuddom on the planet Earth. And what has fed them? It's the human condition. It's things falling apart. It's fat ladies in double knit jumpsuits beating their kids in uh, Kroger's. Well, um, who are the ninnies and the twits? And are they detrimental to the word of Bob? Uh, yeah, the ninnies and the twits are all uh, the people that make us. Uh, that are making decisions based on stupidity and assholeism. And they're dangerous to all of us. Well, is, are they what they call the normals in the Church of the Subgenius? Could quite possibly be so. They're the ones that, that, have, uh, that are going around in uh, designer jeans and puffy vests and are monitoring reality for the rest of us. Well, what is the conspiracy? It's uh, 20th century traditions. It's the old traditions. It's all the things that got us where we are now. It's Christ without a penis. He's part of the conspiracy. It's presidents that don't look like they're, they're capable of getting erections anymore. That's the conspiracy. Well, um, what do you, do you have any personal Bob rituals that you do? Do I have any personal Bob rituals that I do? I mean, do? how do you worship Bob? Well, it's through subversive measures, Devo passes on uh, the word of Bob by, uh, we, if you take a look at our last album cover, his name's been airbrushed into the rubber hairlines of each of the band members, oh. right next to the word sex. Do Bob and sex go hand in hand? Well, Bob is a kind of total, all-consuming sex. I see. It's like baby Elvis in the final days when he was wearing a diaper and ate 48 dream sickles right after doing uh, an Elvis milkshake that included about 5,000 milligrams of Valium, Delua Dids, uh, Valiums, the whole works. Well, um, do you, let me see. Well, do you have any? I'm kind of curious about that. I'm not here because I want to be here. It's my duty. Why? I'm, I'm fulfilling a genetic imperative. This isn't by accident that people are all here together tonight. They were all drawn here by a force that's bigger than themselves. They are all agents. Agents of what? Of Bob. Agents of Bob. Well, um, 
Do you get any slack? Boy, I, I hardly get any slack. Hardly and I'm campaigning for it, too. Well, what is slack? Tell us what slack is. For me, slack is when I'm not getting my patties whacked by some horrible pig. What's so slack you... for you? Oh, many things. Slack, slack is when the lights don't play all the Video. That's right. That's right. About the only slack that I get anymore is worshiping at the holy temple of the Yoni. Uh, tell, tell us about that. What's that? Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure your audience knows what the holy temple of the Yoni is. Well, can you tell us? <laughs> it's the female delta. Female delta. And that's, that's where you worship. It's penis fuck pussy. Oh. Pussy surround penis. Oh, I see. Um. Did you hear for the free beer? <laughs> no, sir. Yeah, well, that's the next thing over. Tonight, liquid slack will be expounded upon as a theory of liquid slack coming from the exit. Liquid slack? As he knows, Bob is merely an enema for a constipated society. These people here are here to help a constipated society blow it out their ass. Have you ever met Bob? Well, like I said, Bob would appear in my bedroom and chase me around, making me do jumping jacks. That was, that was my first meetings with Bob. And what are the later meetings like? <laughs> uh, it's kind of like uh, Rosie Greer and Ray Milland is the two-headed man. Well, how has Bob helped you in, in everyday life? He's, well, he's, give, he's kind of shown us that Devo works in parallel ways with other uh, pockets of humans on this planet. Where we thought we were alone, we, we know there are now other... Uh, human forms that, that believe in conscious mutation. Well, what do you do to help Bob? Oh, well, I think we already asked this yeah. question, and I thought I already answered it. We pass on Bob's word in subliminal ways. If you want to go back to that again, I've no, already told you. Right. that's all right. We're all here tonight to praise Bob. Is that it? It's time to go to sleep. It is now the hour of sleep. Well, can I ask you one last Lay question? Lay on your bellies. Can I ask you one last question? Um, what does your mother think about what you're doing? She just wants to know if I'm eating all right. Are you? Well, I get fed every day. That's good. So she's not worried about you? No, her brain was stolen by Christ a long time ago, so she has no idea what I'm doing. Oh. Okay. He nailed it to the cross, and she's in a commune somewhere in Kansas, as far as I know.